in young individuals, hepatocytes are typically diploid with two copies of each chromosome. By adulthood, more than half of liver cells can be polyploid. So for example, this hepatocyte is tetraploid. It has four copies of each chromosome. Other possible chromosome counts exist, such as hepatocytes which are octoploid with eight copies of each chromosome, and hepatocytes may be a nuploid in which some of their chromosomes are either missing or extra chromosomes have been added. Many hepatocytes possess a single nucleus. Many others are binucleate with two separate nuclei. And small subsets of hepatocytes may be trinucleate or tetranucleate. A nucleus may possess one or more diploid counts of chromosomes. During hepatocyte cell division, the chromosomes can be duplicated during the S phase, but the cell can fail to undergo cytokinesis. And so therefore, while two daughter nuclei are produced, the cytoplasm does not divide, and thus there is one binucleate cell which results. A tetraploid binucleate hepatocyte can undergo cell division and produce daughter cells, each of which are tetraploid, however, which are mononucleate. It is also possible that when a binucleate cell divides to form two mononucleate cells, which are tetraploid, that a second mitotic division then follows without DNA replication, a double mitosis. And this could then result in four diploid daughter cells. If a binucleate octoploid hepatocyte prepares for cell division and replicates its DNA, it can divide to produce two octoploid mononucleate daughter cells. An octoploid mother cell may undergo double mitosis and after two rounds of cell division produce four tetraploid mononucleate daughter cells. The number of pairs of centrosomes can vary from hepatocyte to hepatocyte as well and these undoubtedly influence the division of the chromosomes to form either binucleate or mononucleate daughter cells. In some cases, the centrosomes do not align and pull odd numbers of chromosomes to opposite poles, forming three daughter cells, which are a nuploid. And this leads to the death of the daughter cells. This would be a fatal condition. In many cases, there may be a single chromosome or two which lags behind the remainder of its set, and so some daughter cells are a nuploid, having an extra chromosome or two or missing an extra chromosome or two.